Hi folks, welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Welcome back. I stumbled across this. It was mentioned on Timcast the other night about um, a gentleman by the name of John G. Trump. It turns, turns out to be that's President Trump's uncle. I'm assuming, of course, his brother's bro, his father's brother. And Dr. Trump, I guess he was a pretty brilliant guy, holds a lot of patents to do electronics and other things. When Nicholas, Nikola Tesla died, of course, there's all kinds of things going on with Tesla about new weapons and time machines and, and all kinds of crazy stuff. And when he died, it was Dr. Trump that went through and looked through Nikola Tesla's personal items looking for anything of value to the U.S. government. I thought it was a weird coincidence. I, you know, and they said that on TimCast. I didn't believe it. And I looked up a couple of things here, and it's true. Donald Trump's uncle, John G. Trump, was a professor of electrical engineering at MIT from 1936 until his department in 73. It is well known that declassified documents confirmed that in January 43, Professor Trump was called upon by the FBI to evaluate the personal papers of Nikola Tesla just over a week after his death. What is not well known is that there was also a leaked classified document that also contains Professor Trump to another famous event in history, the crash of a flying saucer in Roswell in 1947. According to a memorial tribute published in the National Academy of Engineering, John Trump joined MIT to work with Professor Robert Van Garoff, who was a pioneer in the new field of super high voltage generation applications. In he goes on to tell some of the stories here. During World War II, Trump worked on microwave radar at MIT's radiation lab, and this is a really long article. Um, I'm just going to skip through it here. You can stop it if you want to. In 1943, he played a major role in the examination of a Nikola Tesla's personal papers that were required by the FBI office alien property custodian after Tesla's January 13th death. Now, I find that a little weird, alien property, because I believe Tesla was a citizen, but an FBI document included Trump among these scientists and experts evaluating Tesla's papers. Tesla was the author of over 200 patents granted worldwide and made numerous claims about building death rays and electrostatic walls of energy to protect any country from attack. Among Tesla's invention was a revolutionary shaped disc like a flying saucer. It fell the pan in the early 1900s. And I'll, I'll go through this here. You can stop the video. That way you can read the whole thing. I'm not going to go through it all. But it's really, really fascinating. Boy, what an interesting connection between Trump, the president, and his uncle, Dr. Trump. And it was considered by Dr. Trump, the president's uncle, that among Tesla's papers and possessions were no scientific notes, descriptions, hair to with un unrevealed methods or devices or actual apparatus would be significant value to the country or which can constitute a hazard of unfriendly hands. I can therefore see no technical or military reason why further custody of the property should be related. And it's really interesting uh, like I said, I'll go through this. You can stop the video. I'll just go through the whole article here. I just, I just thought it was really fascinating. And about doctor. And then towards the bottom here, we'll see that President Trump, then non-President Trump, his uncle died in 1985 at 78 when, when, doubt, when President Trump was 39 and at the time a successful real estate man he was often giving interviews to major media outlets. Trump first mentioned his uncle in the 1984 New York Times profile where he said that they first began talking about physics and nuclear disarmament 15 years earlier. 
Donald, President Trump, was also 23 at the time and had a year earlier graduated from Wharton School of Business in Pennsylvania. It's really interesting. Uh, concerns for nuclear holocaust. Really, really fascinating stuff. And the conspiracy theory or myth, whatever you want to call it, was that President Trump's uncle, Dr. John G. Trump, went through some papers. Uh, I guess there was a couple of metal boxes, some other things from Nikola Tesla and found some amazing things that Tesla was working on. Now, many say that Tesla had everything in his head. He didn't need any blueprints and anything, but and it's interesting. Uh, they take it apart from President Trump's inauguration address. We stand the birth of a new millennium, ready to unlock the mysteries of space to free the earth from the miseries of disease and to harness the energies, industries, and technologies of tomorrow. Now, supposedly, the story goes that President Trump's uncle passed this down either to his nephew, Donald Trump, or gave them to the federal government. Really interesting. Uh, it's quite possible that some of the confiscated Nikola Tesla papers included patent applications that would be amongst those that would be held up by the intelligence community and perhaps even include his alleged flying saucer. It's uh, really interesting. Unbelievable. According to the Federal Federation of American Scientists, the number of patent applications held by this by secrecy orders had increased to 5,784 by the end of 2017. Trump demanded that the intelligence community revoke their secrecy orders and a thousand of them of the then 5,680 patent applications that were being held. He allegedly told them to do so within a two-year period. So supposedly the story goes, he saw what was classified, and that's what he proposed to Space Force. It's, it's really interesting. It's really neat. But this next one with the President Trump and his uncle's connection, Nikola Tesla, you're going to love this next one. From News Punch, where mainstream fears to tread. That's Amina Soretti. And here we go. Photos prove, I like that in quotation marks, Donald Trump is time traveler John Titor. Now, if you'll see there, you'll see on the right, and uh, Trump when he was younger, and then he was president. And then the left is Nikola Tesla. And the gentleman in the sunglasses is supposed to be proof from an old photograph from long before sunglasses or any of the clothes he had on. He's in a whole crowd of people. They just took out his face to prove that he was a time traveler and he was in a very, very old photo where he didn't belong. Now they're saying that he is the time traveler, John Titor. President Trump may be the legendary time traveler, John Titor, who traveled back to Earth in 2000, to warn humanity about an impending global nuclear war. The photo has emerged online of lightning hitting the Trump Tower in Chicago on the day the polls closed during the U.S. presidential election race last year. This was done a few years ago. According to John Teter, researchers, Donald Trump may have harnessed the energy from the lightning using techniques learned through Nikola Tesla in order to harness the energy to run a time machine. <laughs> The bizarre theory, and yeah, it's pretty bizarre, which currently appeared in a 4chan forum claims to be a compelling explanation for Donald Trump's shock victory in the election last year. So this was obviously Trump's first year in office. It says that Trump's Uncle John saw Tesla's plans for a time machine while investigating his work in 1943. This is... Um, it is a weird connection. It is true that his uncle did go through Nikola Tesla's papers, and he was a brilliant electrical engineer, his uncle. I just find it fascinating stuff. I mean, I'll tell you the first thing I would ask a former president, of course, you would never tell. Uh, if you remember the movie with Nicolas Cage where they were given the special code from the president to find the secret book in the Library of Congress with all the secrets, 
and they had Roswell in it and the JFK assassination, what really happened. And But I'll tell you the truth. You think that the intelligence services or the military would even tell a sitting president if there was anything like that as far as plans or blueprints or even mock-ups or even any devices that would give a huge advantage to the United States militarily or economically. I'm not so sure. Tesla apparently explored fantastical theories on free energy, anti-gravity, and invisibility. Now, anti-gravity is something here in science fiction, but after three days looking at the notes, John Trump published a report saying they had found nothing which was not speculative, philosophical, and somewhat promotional in character. But conspiracy nuts claim Trump's Uncle John found designs for a time machine which required electrical energy. The theory goes that John Trump had the information on to the president to be Donald Trump. On the night of the GOP nomination, when Trump was confirmed as the Republican to run for president of the United States, lightning struck his tower in Chicago during a storm. Many claimed in the 4chan forum that this proves that Trump harnessed the power of this lightning storm and tinkered around with time on the night he was nominated March 15th, 2016. Instagram user Mr. Mike Mikey V posted a video of the strike with the caption, lightning storm ironically hitting the Trump building on Super Tuesday. Trump soon became the front runner in, in the race for the White House and went on to win the presidency. Time traveling John Tidor appeared in an online forum back in 2000 and claimed to come from a future ravaged by the effects of nuclear war. He also warned of corrupt governments in war with ISIS before suddenly vanishing from the internet. Dun, 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 dun. Some claim that John Tito was simply an online hoax, but some of his predictions came true, and today his statements continue to make people wonder. So, did Donald Trump's uncle pass on secrets from Nikola Tesla? I just find the connection fascinating, actually, even if none of this crap is true. Um, that's, a, that's a hell of a coincidence that Nikola Tesla would die the government would be involved in searching through his papers because the guy was a brilliant man. And President Trump's uncle was the guy that looked through the papers. I just find that fascinating. Well, Mr. President, Mr. President Trump, one question for you. And one question only. Well, I'll take that back. I'm going to ask two. One is... Is the things around Roswell and unidentified flying objects, are they actually from somewhere else? And two is, do you have the plans, the blueprints for a time machine? President Trump, if you hear this video, get back to me. Leave in the comment section. <laughs> Until next time, goodbye and good luck.